Uh, hi everyone, uh, today we'll see how to install a watchtower on your QNAP container station. Uh, uh, if you have many containers, then it's often uh, very difficult to update all the containers and this is where watchtower helps you. Uh, how watchtower works is it uh, basically runs in the background, it keeps on looking for any uh, newer images um, uh, than you have currently and if it finds one, then it will pull that image, uh, stop your container and then restart your container using the new image. Uh, with the same options that we actually used uh, initially to run the container uh, in effect uh, just uh, updating your container with the new image right what you need to remember is that you're going to need um, SSH access uh, and a command line access basically to uh, run a few commands and we'll see that in a while why you can't uh, do it using GUI uh, but first let's uh, let's uh, uh, try doing it with GUI and I'll show you where you will fail uh, click on explore uh, let's look for our uh, image of watchtower <coughs> So this container was tower, this is the official image. Let's deploy it. Uh, it just tells me about third party disclaimer, which is uh, nothing to worry about. Uh, choose the latest version. Uh, nothing to do here, just the name of the image, um, uh, name of the container that you will use, uh, the restart policy, the web interface that you're going to use, uh, the port. Uh, uh, click on advanced settings and you will see storage here where you will be able to mount it. Now I told you earlier that you can't do it using GUI tool. The reason is, if you look at was tower, it tells you that to, uh, to run it, you you see this minus V flag. It means that you need to uh, bind a volume from your host. From your host, you're going to bind your docker.sock, which is your docker socket, to your container. Uh, this is something that you cannot do using uh, QNAP's uh, container station uh, uh, interface. Why you can't do it is because it's not that you don't have the access to bind command, you do, but if you try to bind um, uh, a folder from the host, you uh, are restricted to those folders only uh, which are in your uh, shared folders. So it doesn't give you access to backslash var, right? So this will not work. If you if you try to do this, your uh, your watch tower will not work. So we need to enable the SSH access first. I have enabled my SSH access. Uh, uh, enable it. Uh, uh, it. It runs on port 22 by default, but it's a good practice to use any other non-standard port. Uh, and make sure that you disable it as soon as you are done with your command line. Uh, here, I am already logged into the putty, and I am simply going to run this command. That's it. So it's going to be very simple. I'll just copy this, and I will. Uh, I'll paste it here. In case you are wondering what this command is, it tells you. Uh, docker run uh, minus j is uh, the detached mode which means it's going to run in the background uh, minus name was tower is the name of the uh, the container that you're trying to create minus v as i just told you from your well run docker.sock uh, will be mounted onto your containers well run docker.sock uh, container was tower is the image that you're going to use so uh, nothing to worry about here uh, generally you should not copy and paste commands unless you know i knew the command so i'm i'm just going to copy and paste it uh, and we are done our container is run uh, i will not need this um, uh, 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 command line anymore so i'll just close my putty i can also disable my sh access now just to be sure and now if you look at your uh, container you will see that your watchtower is running if you click on watchtower uh, there's nothing much you can do here because if you try to uh, execute your bin bash or anything it will not work because this is a uh, it doesn't have a bash basically uh, see it, 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 it fails uh, because this is a <coughs> distribution less image but you can look at the logs so you uh, let's click on watchtower and uh, let's look at the logs so everything is okay here there is no uh, uh, there are no error uh, it says checking all containers all the running containers are being checked except uh, those which we have explicitly uh, disabled with a label so there is a label uh, if you if you put that label to any container uh, then watchtower will leave that container out and will not update that container 